Good morning and welcome to Beginning the Day with God, coming and going on Monday the 11th of December. We are now in the season of Advent, a time when we as Christians think of Jesus coming and his presence and his encouragement is what gets us going. A world that was paralysed with fear and anxiety before he came found freedom of heart and freedom of action through his presence and encouragement. And that freedom is with us still. Our opening music today was by Alan Bullard and it's called The World Has Waited Long. Lord Jesus Christ, we have come here to worship you in this glad season of Advent, a season of expectation, of celebration, and above all, of preparation. We come before you now and ask you to help us be ready to give thanks for your coming, to recognise the ways you come to us now, and to welcome you when you come again. Open our hearts as we worship you, so that all we share may give us a deeper understanding of this season and a fuller understanding of your love. Amen. In Advent, we wait for you. God the Maker, Jesus the Storyteller, Holy Spirit of Life. In Advent, we cry for you. God of Justice. Jesus of Bethlehem, Holy Spirit of Hope. In Advent, we long for you. You, God, are our love, our warmth and our light. We come now to today's reading. Luke chapter 16, verses 19 to 25. Jesus said, There was a rich man who was dressed in purple and fine linen and who feasted sumptuously every day. And at his gate lay a poor man named Lazarus, covered with sores, who longed to satisfy his hunger with what fell from the rich man's table. Even the dogs came and licked his sores. The poor man died and was carried away by the angels to be with Abraham. The rich man also died and was buried. In Hades, where he was being tormented, he looked up and saw Abraham far away with Lazarus by his side. He called out, Father Abraham, have mercy on me and send Lazarus to dip the tip of his finger in water and call my tongue, for I am in agony in these flames. But Abraham said, Child, remember that during your lifetime you received your good things, and Lazarus in like manner evil things, but now he is comforted here, and you are in agony. Thanks be to God. We come now to our reflection. This story tells of a man who never in his life had any compassion for the poor man whom he passed every time he went in or out of his house. It is a story of extremes, extreme wealth, and extreme poverty and sickness. Jesus wants to stop us in our tracks and make us consider, is there anything approaching this in our own lives? And if so, what do we intend to do about it? For Jesus, there is more of eternal value in the plight of the sick man than in all the wealth of the fabulously rich man. During this time approaching Christmas, children and young people like to think of Christmas presents, what they would like to be given, 
and what their friends are boasting they will receive. For parents and grandparents, uncles and aunts, and for most adults, the question instead is, what can I afford to buy? Children in particular think big and would push the options to extremes, the latest toy or gadget, no matter what the cost. At the same time, appeals are coming in from charities great and small, wanting the adult world to share the wealth. Please not to give all to the well-off children, but also remember the sick, the poor, the victims of flood or earthquake or volcano, the war victims, the homeless, all of whom we see in their thousands nearly every day, not on our doorsteps, but on our televisions. There is a link between the story of the rich man and Lazarus and the privilege of being baptised a child of God. Jesus sent his disciples out into the whole world, hoping to turn the whole world eventually to children of the one family, the family of God. Insofar as we despise the least of the people like Lazarus in the world and turn our back on them, we are despising the very truth that makes us precious in God's eyes. They are all God's children in God's eyes. Dear Lord, teach us to be generous, to serve you as you deserve, to give and not to count the cost, to fight and not to heed the wounds, to toil and not to seek for rest, to labour and not to ask for any reward, save that of knowing that we do your will. Amen. Believing the promises of God, as our Saviour taught us, so we pray. Our, our Father, Father, who art in heaven, heaven hallowed be thy name. Thy, thy kingdom come, thy, thy will be done, done on earth as it is in heaven. heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive, forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. God of Advent and of waiting time, we know both darkness and light. We live with it and in spite of it, and we give you thanks for the gifts of night time and the daytime, the light time and the dark time. Amen. The wonderful Counselor guide you, the mighty God protect you, the everlasting Father be with you, the Prince of Peace inspire you, and the blessing of God be upon you, now and evermore. Amen. Amen.